Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Diamond Three Hundred here, and today this is a serious topic I'm gonna talk about. Two things I want to say is, well, even before let's just talk about it. It's gonna be about YouTube community and my subscriber community or any subscriber community people have. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, I guess liked it, comment down below, subscribe, and do all that bullshit. But anyway, let's just get right into the video. If you, if you guys know the sound of my voice, I'm tired. Um, I'm really serious about this topic. I'm not happy or anything else. But here's the thing I'm going to say. YouTube itself, like, not even talk about YouTube. Bro. Let's just talk about what I did on YouTube. I've been a subscriber. I've been joining YouTube for almost three years now. Maybe more. I think 2013. I forgot. But I've been doing it. I've been on YouTube looking at videos for a long time. About three months ago, I decided to say, you know what, let's make it into like something for real. So I started making videos. I put a lot of effort into making my banner. I put a lot of effort to making my logo, and I built a lot of effort in putting into these videos. Down the road, it took me about almost half a month to just make one video. You guys probably want to say why? Why did it take you almost a month to make a video? The reason why is because one, I didn't really believe in myself to make a video. I didn't have the equipment to do it, and it was a lot of stuff to download, to, a lot of stuff to do this and do that, just to make one video. And now I'm just making videos a day now and posting them up the next day, which is kind of easy now. But before it was kind of hard as shit. But besides that point, as you guys probably tuned in, saying, "Who the fuck is this nigga? Who the hell is this?" My name is Lord Diamond Three Hundred. I'm a gamer from Baltimore. I just play random games. Make good ass contact and to just to chill and make people laugh. Now, besides the point, let's talk about the, the topics today. YouTube. I, not I. I can say only two things about YouTube. It's good to get opportunity for people to make videos, but it's also a bad thing to pick out the biggest YouTuber in the system. What I mean by this is because I'm only a little subscriber. I mean, a little, a little, ew, I cannot speak today. I'm a small YouTuber who have, who have like 32 to 33 subscribers, I think. I've posted about 20 something videos already and I have 500, 500 and something views, which is good. And there's other YouTubers who are also small like me who don't get that much subscribers and who have that much views. Which is like, yeah, I want to help them out, but I also want to help myself out. I'm not being selfish or anything. Else. I'm just saying, I I love to help you out in the long run. Like I also, you guys see my videos, and everything else. I come back to um subscribers, and I also subscribe people who I subscribe to. I comment on their videos. Who are small, sometimes comment on big YouTubers or anything else. But here I'm talking about. If you guys didn't know a while back, there was an ad problem or strike with YouTube other companies and it affected a lot of big youtubers which I understand why because most of the, the job is YouTube and and this might be me talking shit about them is because that some youtubers one one really job is YouTube and they bitch and moan about it because they say I get a real job uh, it's gonna be tough like no you can't bitch and moan about it because I know some youtubers who had real jobs before even YouTube started and there's some YouTubers who have jobs now they can do such as me I have a job right now and if YouTube doesn't go right for my ads and stuff I can go fall back on my other job and make real money and I just get tired of YouTube's bitching and moaning about it because they think the real world is a pain in the ass. No, it's not. And about YouTube, the ass system it is kind of fucked up. I'm sorry to use cussing and shit, but it's messed up because a lot of YouTubers who have controversial stuff, if you didn't look on the YouTube guidelines about, um, ads and stuff you gotta be f uh, what was it 
family friendly to make as many videos, which I think that's bullshit because there's a lot of stuff that a lot of controversial stuff on there and they're ass playing on the videos. Um, I was talking to this one YouTuber line. who I can't say his name because I'm not gonna get beef from other people viewing and say, Oh, are you talking shit about him or are you talking shit about her? No, nah. this is one well, we've taken the advantage. a lot of subscribers, always in the millions. Um, he cusses if you guys know what I'm talking about. Let's not let's just keep the beef on this. It's not throwing shit at him as well. He's just throwing shit at you. Shot is good. He cusses, he did a lot of controversial stuff. But the worst part about it, he has ass videos. Orders. Which, hey, that's good. He friendly money UAV it, but I put this kind of stuff. Like I cuss, I do this and that, but I don't get ass in my video. Which is like, so. Just because he has a whole bunch of subscribers, orders. he gets ass in his video. But when I have a little bit of subscribers, I can get ass in my video. It's just kind of fucked up. You think about it, like, damn, so fuck me. But, you know. Go suck his dick or something, because he gets, because he had a lot of subscribers. Um, I just think it's fucked up for little subscribers, little Ready YouTubers who have almost in who are in the thousands, who are in the hundreds or the tens or the, even like five subscribers, can't get ads in their video, which is kind of messed up. Um, I guess that's the first time I'm talking about, but overall, YouTube fix your shit. Let little YouTubers get and let little YouTubers get some money. Like, come on, not all big YouTubers need to get all the money as well. A second thing I want to talk about is the community of people of YouTubers. Pr pretty much, I'm talking about mine and other YouTubers or small ones. I have about like a million. I have 32 some subscribers. Check and clear. The thing that's kind of if you look at my video now, I average about 14 to 9 to sometimes 20. And the other two videos I had made, which were the um, WB2K17 with my girl, for you guys, I have almost about 15 or almost close to 7. Which I don't know how the hell it happened. Maybe I was close on Reddit and they got me or whatever. But Xbox can ban me from that shit. I don't know why. But anyway, my Get other video I average about like 20 or 30, which is kind of nice. And to be honest, I have only 30 UAV on stage. And I'm just getting more than that. Like, I'm not being counter UAV away from the or being selfish or anything else. No. Counter it's UAV inbound. Who gain about 20 or 30 friendly UAV inbound. Like 40 or 50 in front of it, gain about almost half. Almost Sentry gun ready for deployment. Half what I make. No, you know what I mean? Half. Almost triple. Not triple, 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 double maybe? I don't know. Of my views. Sniper down. There's some YouTubers who only have a hundred something subscribers, but only, almost gain about two hundred to a hundred, or nine, like that. which is kind of like saying so. Fuck, you know, like, there's some YouTubers who make shit quality videos, which I'm not throwing shit at other small YouTubers and shit videos, but it's like I make good content. I put work and time into my videos, but I can't gain about twenty, maybe almost fifty, fifty views on my channel. I didn't, I just did not counter UAV lot. inbound. So, UAV inbound. Pretty much is this. You, like, the community who are looking at videos, looking at YouTubers, PewDiePie, Markiplier, Jazz Up to Kai, um, Thanos, um, what do you call it, Dashy, um, well, Mark, not to say, Trey Martin, I can't say Trey Martin, I forgot. I watch him too, but. All YouTubers who make big money or in the millions and everything else. We're you can't waiting for time to watch small YouTubers who put time and effort into their videos. But you just want to look at them and don't like the video. Like, that makes no sense. But then later in the long run, you want to say you're an active subscriber. You've been there ever since day one. And that's the fake shit I don't like about YouTube. Like, you know, I got some friends who like my video. I have some friends who even comment, not even comment, who also subscribe to the channel, but they don't put that kind of time to watching them or liking them. Because I know my videos are long as shit. Like, I understand why people don't like watching long videos, but there's some people who make about 20 seconds, almost half an hour of making a video, and y'all still watch it to the end. Like, y'all can't have the time and effort to watch my videos like that. But no, nah, it's, it's cool. And... Like I said, the like system, people liking my videos and everything else, I average about, I'm, be, I'm really ashamed of saying this, I average about two to one likes 
And if you guys watch my my girl, me and my girlfriend play the I think I got like two nice job, videos. Squad. Which you gotta probably saying, oh, that's kind of sucks. But not for, for real. I'm happy to get two dislikes. The reason why I'm happy to get two dislikes is because people see my shit and they give me their opinions. Yes, it's kind of hurt, but it's like, so I got two people disliking my videos, which is kind of bad, but it's also good to know that people are still watching my shit. What else to say about YouTube or just my community in general? Um, I guess the game community, they can look at other people's stuff, but... I like I try to put my stuff on social media. Like I promote my stuff a lot. You guys check my Instagram or on my Twitter or you can even follow me on Snapchat. It'd be in it's gonna be in the description now. Um <clears throat> I promote videos a lot. And if you guys check the videos that I post on Instagram, I get almost got like what is it? I think the one I posted up today or yesterday, it was like 30 some people, the other videos was like in 60s, the other one is almost close to 100 I think, I don't remember, but you guys can take the time and effort to look at that and go to my channel. That's the thing I kind of makes me mad, like you look at my stuff, but don't look, like go to the website on YouTube and look it up. And like I said, YouTube and social media, like I had no problem with that, but it's just like, wow, so a lot of people can view my stuff, but don't take the time effort to go look at the video, which that's part that part is in. Like, I, I know I get a couple laughs from people talking about, oh, you're funny. Especially for my girlfriend say, oh, I'm fine. I think that's just more support. But it's like, I do make good contact. I'm funny. Underrated as hell. And I just want to be known on YouTube, not to become this underrated rap rapper. <laughs> be this underrated YouTuber. Who makes good contact, but later in life, say, "Oh, he he's doing this. Oh, he's doing that," and get a lot of people talking like, "Oh, I've been a subscriber doing this. Oh, um, I've been a loyal subscriber ever since he was at 32." Diamond Gang, all the gang, gang, gang. But it's like, no, I don't want all that stuff in the long run. Talking about, "Oh, you was an active subscriber, and everything else." Like, I'm asking a tough question, talking about like, "Have you ever watched the first three episodes? Were you there ever since when?" I made the USC videos. Were you there when I made Naruto? Were you there ever since I made the Star Wars and I got controversial shit from there? Were you there when I made Saints Row? Were you there when I made the first video with my girlfriend? Were you there when I made the Outlast? Everything else. And it's funny because people just reacting like that because they know they weren't there and they just want to follow the trend. Like I said, YouTube is corrupt. The fan base for any or the community to Suck on big YouTubers' dicks. They don't like the. They don't want the you, those small YouTubers to climb back on the top or get to the top. They want to put them down. This for YouTube and the community. But yeah, that's why I want this one to say today, guys. Um, I guess it's kind of like a serious tone video I put into this. I just want people to know that I'm not none of these other YouTubers or gaming YouTubers who. Don't who just do this and make friendly contact, whatever. I, like, I'm the most realist, underrated gaming YouTuber ever. I'm not fake. I don't do this. I don't do that. Like, it's who I am. And how, why am I saying this stuff? Because I got inspired to make more videos and everything else to be real by this one YouTuber named Gia Katya. Her, her um, channel to be in the description down below. She's one of the most awesome female YouTubers ever. Like, yes. There's some female YouTubers there, but she's the most realest one I ever met in my life. So please go check her channel out. She's the best YouTuber ever. Just in the game. I'm one of the most female gaming YouTubers ever. But yeah. Anyway, if you guys enjoy this video, probably none of you guys don't. But if you guys do like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Um, subscribe to be part of Diamond Game. Pop that thing. I'm gonna stay by regardless. I'm at the base.